The snow chains are going to be located in the trunk. You're going to push down on this, pull on this, and you have this little loop right here. You can hook on to the back of the seat. Let's keep that in place here. There's four of them. You want to use all four. This tool that you will need to tighten them is going to be located in this bag along with the bungees, which you will also need. First thing you have to do is just lay it out on the ground like this. You need to make sure it's not twisted. This one is twisted. You can tell because these should all be facing the same way. So this one, this one are, this one here is not, this one here on the end is not either. So <clears throat> you can also tell by these. This is like on top here and then they get kind of, you can tell right here, this is not on top. It should be like this, it's twisted like that. What you need to do is flip it like this. What you need to do is take it, flip it like this. Now, this is on the outside matching this one and this is facing the same way as this one same thing needs to be done for the other side here this is on the outside this is on the outside then right here this is not this is on the inside that's how you can tell where it's twisted so you need to flip it through this part here just like the other side so now no chain is straight. All of these are the same way. There's no twists in it. Now you're ready to put it on the tire. You're going to want to do all four of them at once. Now you're going to drape it over the tire like this. These need to be on the outside of the tire where you can reach them. This also needs to be on the outside of the tire. These cannot be facing the inside of the tire. You can do damage to the sidewall on the tire. Any damage you do to the tires of the car, you will have to pay for. Next thing that you're going to do is hook this through, but you're going to do not the one on the outside here, but the one on the inside first. You're going to have to reach behind the car. So you're just going to reach in and just hook this on the inside. If you can, reach the second one. Better not to leave this dangling. You can just put them both through the hook like that. Now you're going to do the same thing with the outside. Uh, you're going to get all four of them like that. And you're going to drive forward just about three feet. So you kind of move the chain around so this is kind of up on the top. Now you see you have a lot more slack on this. So you're going to retighten it again as tight as you can. The way you're going to do it is just go like this. And bring up as much extra as you can. And then just loop that right there. Get it as tight as you can. You just have a little bit right there. It's not going to do any damage. It's a lot safer. Now do not leave this dangling like that. It's very important. This can flip around, cause hundreds or thousands of damage easily to the fenders and the fender liners. Now you're going to take the tool. You're going to go around and you're going to tighten these. They tighten this way. And you're just going to go around and tighten as many of them as you can. It's okay if you aren't able to tighten all of them. Next thing you need to do is put the bungees on. And you want this hook part facing outwards away from the tire so you're not doing any damage to the tire. And you're just going to put them across like that. You can take two for each tire. This is mainly important, so really important to put on. So if the chains do fall off the tire, they fall off this way and not into the inside, which can cause a bunch of damage to the drivetrain. That can cause hundreds or thousands of dollars worth of damage. So make sure to use the bungees. Once you have all four of them on like that, you're ready to go. But it's a good idea to drive about a quarter mile and then get out again, check and see if you can retighten more of these or retighten them. You need to make sure that the chains stay tight and do not drive over 30 miles an hour with the chains on. You want to be driving very slow. So if you're in very slippery conditions, you can use this lock right here. 
you have to put the shifter into two or one then you'll be able to use the lock make sure you're only using it and you're going very slow like under 25 or 30 miles an hour now to remove them you're gonna go around and reverse all of these things flip them back over all the ones that you spun around you can take the bungees off so you get enough slack to where you can loosen this up but you're gonna want to disconnect the one on the inside first so that way the chain falls out and it doesn't get stuck behind there and I've got the one on the inside off first you can take this off pull the chain outward like this it's a good idea to pull it over here away from the tire so you're not running over these end pieces because you don't want to bend or damage these if you do you can break the chain you have to pay for new ones that's pretty much it just throw everything back in the trunk please put all the bungees and the tightening tool back in the bag so the next person that uses them can find everything easily